As Intel brought the FinFET into the third dimension with its Ivy Bridge microarchitecture, the need to visualize structures in three dimensions increased. Coventer's simulator software allows engineers to examine and manipulate 3D emulations. Combining the 2D layout with the process editor steps, Simulator can emulate real-world scenarios of chip fabrication without expending any laboratory test time or materials. Here we show an approximate rendition of the Ivy Bridge chip. The software allows the engineer to turn layers to translucent or even invisible. As such, we can examine a completed structure in ways otherwise impossible in the real world while maintaining the structure. Notice here that with the low K layer invisible, we can clearly see the metal layers and the dual damascene connections. hide all the layers in the back end of the line so that we can zoom in to the lower structures. We can now view both the NMOS and PMOS regions in any rotation along the three dimensions. Here we show a cross-section view of the NMOS region viewing the fin's front side. Here we show a cross-section view of the PMOS region showing the tungsten vias reaching down to the silicon germanium source drain regions on top of the fin. Now let's remove the cross-section view to see the full transistor. And let's reassemble some of the structure and look at the back of the line. Here are the metal interconnects between the first few layers without showing the low-K dielectrics. Now let's remove the back of the line layers so that we can see the fins by themselves. Process engineers grow silicon germanium on the fins. After growing a silicon dioxide oxide, we then deposit additional thin oxides, such as hafnium. We then pattern titanium nitride gates perpendicular to the fins. Using low pressure chemical vapor deposition processes, or LPCVD, engineers deposit silicon nitride next. They then deposit tungsten, followed by a patterned etch of the lower silicon nitride layer down to the titanium nitride gates. The area is packed in with a silicon oxide which insulates the metal one contact vias. After the silicon oxide is pattern etched for the vias, they deposit a tantalum nitride liner. They then deposit and planarize the tungsten just to the top of the oxide. We then deposit a mixture of silicon, carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen, or psycho, as a hard mask, followed by a low-K dielectric insulator. After we etch to create the interconnect trenches and vias for the dual damascene structures, we use tantalum nitride as a liner before copper is deposited. We subject the copper to a chemical mechanical polish, or CMP, to planarize the material. Each new metal layer is constructed with this same method, psycho hard mask, 
low K dielectric insulation, wire trench etching, dual damascene vias that breach the Psycho hard mask to the lower metal layer, tantalum nitride or other liner deposition, copper deposition, and finally the CMP planarization process. Typically, each group of metal layers is larger than the previous. Finally, we deposit the copper seed layer. We then deposit the copper using electroplating or electrochemical deposition, ECD.